A dialect is comprehensible or incomprehensible to outsiders to the extent that it compromises with standard speech, in this case, North Country English. In the Wigan area, this compromise operates at three levels. In the left-hand column, we have words which are easily traceable to standard speech. Boss. Gom. Yed. Ewer. Sin. Lol. Bonk. Nange. Manish. Jonge. In the middle column, we have vocabulary which derives from North Country English, but which can barely be understood when spoken with Wigan pronunciation. Mate, slutch, pawn, bat, note, widget, skin, skew with, star, virgin. The right hand column consists of words of local invention, meaningless to outsiders, and not even understood by speakers of other Lancashire dialects. Bowfagged, jiggered, Chauf, Bows, Fair, Bow, Philly Lou, Flancing, Bagging, Better. Of course, the Wigan dialect features several words common in northern speech, such as Wom, Awom, Moggy, and Butty. I'm giving Wom. I reckon these are one. We're even with Moggies. The Swan to Jam Butty. In the Wigan area, as in other northern communities, the definite article the is normally assimilated with the first letter of the following word, which is usually, of course, a noun. Therefore, the pie comes out as pie, and the apple comes out as thapple. The reduced definite article is often combined with prepositions and produces the following combinations. Barn, thune, it thune, it felt, in face, on fleur, got market, with dog, along canal, third mon. Uh, Wigan, like a lot of uh, other northern dialects, um, tends to use archaisms. Quite common. Archaisms such as uh, harken, wench, yon, yonder, fain. Atten. Who's a nice wench? Atten yon mon. It's all yonder. I'll be fair to see they. Atten I'll come then. <laughs>